Hello students, in this video I will be explaining how to solve an application problem of univariate optimization. So that will be an application of calculus. The problem consists in a piece of cardboard that measures 80 centimeters by 45 centimeters. And we want to cut a square here in the corner of the cardboard in such a way that we are going to construct a box. So we are going to cut here in the corner some squares of the same size and then fold this size in order to create a box with an open top. And we want to know how big need to be this square here in the corners to get the maximum volume. We are going to fold the cardboard this way and this is going to be one of the sides of the box. Then fold here and fold in all the other part of the box and then after you fold what you're going to have is a box that have 80 centimeters minus 2x of the length and the width of the box will be 45 minus 2x. So the volume will be in terms of x and actually that is what we are going to do anytime that we solve a problem of maximization or optimization in calculus. In this case we are going to compute the maximum volume but if we are going to find the minimum we are going to do the same find a function in terms of the variables and here the, the volumes will depend on the size of this square here. So after you fold, if you see the box from the top, it looks like this. Now the side will be 80 minus 2x and 45 minus 2x. So if you see this box from the side, will be like this. So the high will be x. So we're going to have a box that is easy to compute the volume. And that is what you're going to do. This is what solves the problem. Express the function that you want to maximize, that you want to optimize in terms of the variable. In this case, we are in univariate optimization. The problem that we're going to solve will be problem that you can express the function in one variable. So the volume will be the product of the length times the width multiplied by the height of the box. So the volume will be then 80 minus 2x multiply this 45 minus 2x and then multiply by the height x and you have expressed the volume in terms of the variable and you want to compute the maximum volume. So this is the function that you want to maximize. This is the function that you need to get the derivative and make this derivative equal zero. So do that. For getting the derivative of this, you can use the derivative of a product twice because there are two products here, this times this times this. Or easier, better, make the product first and then get the derivative. You will notice also now that the domain of the function, there is a constraint in the domain of this function. First, the x cannot be lower than zero because the x cannot be negative. Yeah? So the x, actually the height of this is the length of the square that we cut in the corner of this cardboard piece. So I know that then for getting the domain of this function, x need to be greater or equal than zero. And also notice that if you are cutting here, the x cannot be more than the half of 45. The size is smaller. So the x that you are going to cut cannot be greater than 45 over 2, 22.5. So the x need to be less or equal than 45 over 2. So the values of x that we are going to find need to be in this domain. So the x need to be greater or equal than zero and lower or equal than 22.5. So what we are going to do is compute the derivative of this function, make this derivative equal zero, solve this equation and find the solutions that are in this domain. So that's what we are going to do. Okay, so let's compute the derivative of this. Obviously, I know that, that to compute the derivative of this, I can use the rule of a product twice because there are two products here. 80 minus 2x, 45 minus 2x, and this multiply also this x. So you can get the derivative of a product twice. But it's better for me to make a product first and then get the derivative of a polynomial. Multiply 80 times 45 and multiply by x immediately, by the way. And you get 80 
times 45, 3600, so that's 3600 X. So you can type here 3600 X. Then this 80 multiply this minus 2 X, that will be negative 160 X. I multiply by X, so it will be negative 160 X X squared. This minus 2 X multiply this 45, that will be minus 45 multiplied by 2, but it will be minus 90 X minus 90 X squared, minus 90 X squared. And finally, minus 2x times mi minus 2x equals 4x squared. Multiplied by this x will be plus 4x cubed. And you can simplify this. This is 36 of the volume will be 3600x minus 250x squared plus 4x cubed. Let's type this here. So this will be the formula for the volume. This is the function that we are going to get the maximum. So let's get the derivative of this. So the derivative of 3600x, it will be 3600x. So, so the derivative of the volume, this function, volume, that is respect to the variable x, that is actually the height of the box, it will be 3600, 3600, minus this is 2, that is the exponent here, multiply this 250, so you get minus 500x. And here, this 3 multiply this 4, it will be 3 times 4, 12, 12x to the power 2. Remember, the exponent go down one number. The new exponent will be 2, so it will be plus 12x squared. And this is the one that I'm going to make 0. Okay, so let's take note of the volume that we have here. And we know that the domain need to be this. And let's get this derivative and get this derivative equals zero. So this will be then equal zero and solve this equation. If you have a computer that solves this quadratic equation, solve it by there. If you have a calculator, solve it using this calculator. If you don't have anything, solve it by hand. You know that you need to use the general formula. So let's order this. This will be 12x squared minus 500x plus 3600 equals zero. Remember, the general formula for solving quadratic equation, it will be x equal minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. This is the general formula for solving a quadratic equation. This 500 is b, this 3600 is c, and this 12 is a. Make a substitution of everything in the formula and you get that the value of x will be a number like this. You can make a simplification of this or use a calculator to compute it. If you simplify here, you will notice that 4 squared is a common factor here at the top. So this is 5 times 100, 100 is actually uh, 4 times 25. So 4 squared is a, is a factor here. 4 squared is also a factor here because here is a 4 and here is another 4. So if you get 4 squared, you can get outside of the root and you will notice that you can simplify by 4. So I'm going to tell you the final answer of this x if you need to type this in the exact form. So that will be the solution. 125 plus or minus 5 square root of 193 divided by 6. So we have two solutions. When, when there is a plus sign, and then where there is a minus sign. I used my calculator for solve this. When I used a minus sign, what I obtained was 9.26, rounded to two decimal. And when I used the plus sign, I, the, the answer was 32.41. And I noted that this 32.41 is not in the domain because it's not lower than 22.5. So remember that x is this, the length of the square that you cut for the board and it cannot be more than the half of 45 obviously so this number cannot be part of the solution the only solution is 9.26 by the way you don't know if this maybe this x is a minimum no a maximum it will be a good idea to compare the value of the volume with another value for example what happens if x equals zero is x equals zero, then this will be 45, this will be 80, but the height will be zero. So the volume will be zero. So with this value, the volume is bigger than the 
the volume when the value is zero. First, for that reason, you know that that cannot be the minimum. They need to be the maximum. First. Second, you can use the criterion of the second derivative. Get the second derivative of this. The second derivative will be minus 500 plus 24x. Substitute 9.26 there, and you will notice that the answer will be negative. If the second derivative at that point is negative, this is a maximum. So definitely this is a maximum. So now that you know that this is a maximum, then use it for getting the maximum volume. So get again the formula of the volume. You can use this formula of the volume that we have here at the top. You can use the other one that you have simplified. I'm going to use this. Just put this 9.26 in the formula. So this will be the volume at 9.26. It will be 90 minus 2 times 9.26. 45 minus, this will be an easy, easy to do. Yes, using the calculator, get this subtraction, get this subtraction and multiply by this. The maximum volume will be 15,000, 0.75.19. By the way, this X is in centimeters. So this one will be in centimeters cubed, and this will be the maximum volume. So we have made more than they asked me. They asked me just to find X, eh? and I have found it, the volume also. A problem like this appears in every textbook, in almost every textbook of calculus. Sometimes the cardboard piece is a, is a square. So in this case, these two values are the same. Some others are different, but the problem is almost in every textbook of calculus. Okay, so I have finished to explain this problem. I hope you have found it useful. I will be in another video showing you how to solve it using a software. Okay, thank you.